It's 1028. That means it's time for some celebrity dish. We got our report in here this morning. She's going to, uh, first of all, good morning. Good morning. Yes. Happy holidays to you. How look the at the look. I know, the look. You got to show, show the shoes, poet. Oh, you gotta show yay. The shoes. Yeah, you got to show the shoes. <laughs> there yeah. you go. There it is. Happy there Merry is. Christmas, Hansa mm. Quantica. Yes, there you go. You got it all in there. <laughs> yeah. You got it right, right. All right. All right, let's talk about some of the events you got going on. Oh, today I am doing a health chat with folks at 3 o'clock live mm -hmm. with Maryland Health Connect. Open enrollment. A lot of y'all are contractors, entrepreneurs, don't have insurance, get it. Right. And then this Sunday, finally, my sixth annual Bits to Join and Toy. Oh. So for the past six years, mm -hmm. uh, I cover 250 toys, gifts, picks with Santa, holiday treats for kids in the village. Mm -hmm. I don't need to know no stories. I don't care where you live. You pull up, you get served. <laughs> right. I love that. And then That's thanks awesome. to the village donating toys and time, we normally touch about three to 500 kids. Mm -hmm. See? All right. What I love about you is that you talk the talk, but you walk the walk, too. I mean, every, I feel like every time she's on, we're talking about some event you got going on, giving back to the community, so. Growing up in foster care, you learn very early mm -hmm. that it really does take a village. I am the baby that the village raised. Mm -hmm. There's so many different people who have poured into me. Wisdom, when my father passed, you have taken phone calls and text <laughs> messages and things and have stared mm -hmm. in a space. So mm -hmm. I feel like when we leave with love, we give grace. Right. Life is life in all of us, so yeah. why not? Yeah. Kindness costs you nothing. Right. And my energy be, mm, I think that's the problem with you. <laughs> <laughs> Given. Take care of somebody. If yeah. people want to, they just show up, people want to help. They want to make donations. They want to bring toys. What do they need Donations to do? go through Love Life Foundation DMV. Shout out to Raheem Devon for always mm -hmm. supporting me. Oh. Marthastable.org if you want to volunteer. Mm -hmm. And not just for my event. Volunteer, period. Come pack some groceries for people. Uh -huh. Come go out with McKenna's Wagon and feed those who don't have homes. Yeah. Like, there's so much to do. Put okay. a blanket in your car today or an extra pair of boots and give it to somebody with a dollar or two when they ask for it. Mm -hmm. Every little bit counts. It yeah. does. And then follow me at Just Curious Po. DMV. And then you can, you can get all that information. Slide to my DMs. Yes. Yes. Season. Or you can go and out. We can, and we can. You go. Heal two words, one stone, donate, and slide into the DMs. All right. Uh, let's Hold get up. into it here. <laughs> First up, Diddy setting the record straight, I think, about his love life. He responded to DJ Academic's comment calling Young Miami oh. a, quote, side chick. We want to bring producer Chris for more details on this. Yeah. I, I see you shaking your head, Chris. That's all of us. What is I'm going on? Attempt to sort this out, all right? No promises by the end of it. But Diddy says, do not call Young Miami his side chick. He has a different thing that he calls her. According to a recent tweet, she's not his side chick. She never has been his side chick, and she never will be his side chick. And you can put a period on that. So what is she, you might be wondering. Diddy says she's, quote, very important and special to him, and calls her his, quote, shorty wop. He said, quote, I don't discuss things on the internet and I will not start today. And then he immediately went on to discuss things on the internet, <laughs> saying people can, quote, think what they want, but if you do something to hurt mine, I'm going to come to your house and we're going to talk about it like human beings. So this declaration comes just a few days after he welcomed the baby daughter with another woman. She's named Dana Tran. We talked about that earlier this week. You see her right there. She's hard to miss. He was also <laughs> spotted getting cozy with an influencer named Shantaya Joseph over over the weekend. So like I said, I can attempt to sort this out, but he's keeping it interesting for sure. <laughs> Welcome to cuffing season. <laughs> this is exactly how this plays out, Chris, believe it or not. All this is the season for it. They're just famous and we get to see it. This is happening in Uptown on the South Side in Silver Spring. Somebody that found out that somebody they thought they was gonna be cuffed with for the season out here doing other things. Mm. She can't be a side chick. You can never be a side chick if you are claimed in public, on <laughs> social. I can't be on the side. People know about me. Sides are secrets. So I say Diddy said he was single and out here mingling. He's obviously doing that. I just wish he'd wrap it before he tap it or get tested if he's gonna go invest it. I just hope they be having plans for all these babies. <laughs> I mean, how do you follow that? I was just <laughs> no words. Um, if they like it, I love it. That's all I got. I ain't got nothing deep like yeah. you said. What poet said. <laughs> what poet said. What poet said. But I, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need my man. I don't know what really. I still don't know what he is to Young Miami and vice versa. But I'm gonna need you to say something more than, she's special to me. She got a pretty smile. <laughs> but she is though, and they are single. Single is like going to your favorite ice cream shop. So they're cream officially shop. single. They are. They're, they're both just having single. fun. They are single and dating. So then dating why was when she so samples. worked up on social? She was worked up because y'all are coming for her. And she's funny like that. If you follow her, she always out here saying things. <laughs> she's really not upset. I think a lot of people would like to be in her shoes, and you probably are right now. He just ain't got Diddy's money. Well, yeah, she is That's getting really why you mad and upset. The monthly allowance is true. 
Listen she here, gets, I don't tell none monthly. of my girlfriend's secrets. I am safe as a bank. Alicia, I will text you later. <laughs> Sis, can't wait to see you this holiday. I <laughs> will say, she. I mean, it's Diddy, so I, I think she's having a good time and she's winning more than more, more, most folks are. Plenty of people are right now. Yeah. Your life is just not on public display. Right. This is not new. Let me show you some things in my group chat. There are things <laughs> happening in cuffing season. Yeah. And if she makes it to Valentine's yeah. Day, we know she won the raffle. <laughs> just, wow. You said it's like ice cream. Dating is like going to Dating is, a guy that I was seeing asked me that question. What's dating? It's like going into your favorite place, Baskin Robbins yeah. or Cold Stone, trying the flavors, pick a few that you like and want to move further with. Now I want to build my sun deck. <laughs> like, it's just, and then you walk out with whatever it is that you want. But they're dating. This is what you do when you date. I don't know I if you make babies too, but right. that's not my thing. I don't like to, like, right, right. yuck nobody's yum. <laughs> but you, I, he out here seeing all these people, all and right. they're all happy. Well, Chris, hopefully, we, we, hopefully she cleared that up for Clear you. Clear that up. Thanks, there you guys. go. <laughs> Easy stuff. Thank you. All right, well, <laughs> let's move on and talk about Pete Davidson. It looks like uh, Pistol oh. Pete, uh, well, his, his good luck is starting to run out because uh, oh. the rumored fling with model Emily Radkowski has apparently moved on. Paparazzi spotted the 31-year-old uh, supermodel out with DJ Orazio Rispo. And sources say the two looks not only cozy, but enjoyed a passionate date night. The pair's sighting is leaving more than a, a few media outlets with, with eggs on their face after several people, uh, several like People Magazine reported that Emily and Pete were getting more serious, which I guess just proves uh, why we probably shouldn't speculate on the love lives of celebrities. Now, didn't I tell y'all yeah, every time yeah. we do this mm -hmm. that this stuff is not legit? Right, that's I why I always say no comment. Yeah. I just don't say I anything. Say no. It's coffee season. It's this is just the eight and a half by eleven version. Right. We are here for yeah. it. <laughs> this is cuffing season. I like you today. They're gonna be yeah. back together later, and somebody right. probably got a movie or something coming out. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. Date. Find out what you so like. So now, do you enjoy this, or is this just like the the L you got to take every once in a while, or is this or is this part of the fun? I love dating for this reason. She oh, might have dated okay. Pete, found out that there were some things that didn't tickle her fancy. Now she with the DJ. Maybe he does something yeah. that Pete didn't do. That's why you date. Right. Or see Drake, 42 engagements almost. This is why you date. Lots of Pippin. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, so you know what you like and you don't like. I don't see yeah. nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Go, ladies, go. Go, fellas, go. Go, everybody, go. Right. Cuffing season is here. Ice cream. The announcement has officially been made. <laughs> All right, poet. Thank you.